What's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike here at Laptop Falcons. <sighs> News. Ask Matt Mike segment. Y'all already know what to do. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe button. Tell your friend to come chat. Falcons football with your boy. This is Earl Thompson with an Ask Mad Mike uh, question. Do you think they were going to look to upgrade Mayfield or give him another shot next season? Absolutely. Um... For one, you got to understand, like, this is the NFL, all right? This is the NFL, and um, you're going to get your ass beat, all right? The Falcons play against, obviously, one of the better, two of the better defenses, three of the better defenses in the NFL in Carolina, um, the Saints, as well as the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. These are very good defensive linemen. They have great defensive um, tackles. Um, obviously, Cam Jordan. Um, the guys up in with Derrick Brown Cal uh, in Carolina, um, you got in Dominican Sue, uh, Vita Vade. So, those guys are very good defensive linemen. So, you're going against defensive tackles with that not only the strength, the size, the athleticism, um, but they have great defensive coordinators to help them get in position to succeed. Um, great linebackers, uh, in Tampa Bay, pretty good linebackers in um new orleans with uh dominic uh, uh dominic davis i think his name dominic davis i don't know um but demario davis um they have very good linemen so when you look at mayfield the falcons issue this year has been um a number of things not only the young offensive linemen uh mayfield matt hennessy uh, Caleb McGeer has been up and down, but for the most part, you have a very good uh, right guard, left tackle, um, and Chris Lindstrom and Jake Matthews, but um, they have a very inconsistent running game. Mike Davis was not any good for anybody. Let's just keep it real. He wasn't good for anybody. Uh, he was inconsistent. Um, the best receiver on the roster for the most part, yes, was Calvin Ridley, but Calvin Ridley decided he wanted to take off a year. So Russell Gage was that guy. So the Falcons had a lot of holes um, in their offensive game, and, you know, it put a lot of pressure on the offensive line. Matt Ryan didn't have a lot of time, um, obviously because of Mayfield and these younger guys just don't have a lot of chemistry. They don't really know each other. It's the first season implementing the, the scheme in itself. So there's a lot of things. So um, should the Falcons upgrade? I think they would definitely upgrade. I, I think they'll definitely upgrade on um, the competition around it. But to say they are outright uh, replace Mayfield, I'm not sure about that. I think he's going to get every opportunity to not only play left guard, but he could possibly move to right tackle. Um, he was really supposed to play right tackle, and he played right tackle for the most part in preseason. Um, and the injury to uh, Andrews pretty much kept him in that position for the most part. It kind of forced him in that left guard position. So at this moment, I think they're going to allow him to grow i think you're gonna bring him along slowly and just let him do his thing so at the end of the day man absolutely i think they're gonna bring in competition but i think mayfield is gonna have every opportunity to prove his worth as an offensive lineman in this league let me know what you guys think about this continue to support your boy here at Matt mike sports man if you enjoyed the content let me know man all right i can only continue to improve you guys just help me out as far as where I need to improve it, all right? I'm gone, baby. Peace.